people you'd like to have on board? Like well, that first yeah. year I'd love to have I'd love to have as many as possible. You know, I think you know the key is to get a mix of, of freshmen, um, maybe some JC kids, um, but trying to, like I said, even out that that pool. So in four years, we're not trying to recruit eight new kids again. <laughs> Your staff. Do you already have some ideas about how you want to round it out? Yeah, you know I do. I think one of one of my keys is to have a balanced, diverse staff. You know, I think um, I'm going to look at uh, you know what my strengths are, obviously, in player development, and uh, you know go from there. But I, you know, I've already got a lot of phone calls and a lot of interest, which is great. Um, you know, the timing's not perfect because we're in the middle of an academic year. And, uh, you know, so but, but we're going to open it up and, and look at a lot of a lot of candidates. What is, is kind of your your timeline for having everything in place? I want the staff in place by this date. I want you know to start building that recruiting class. Maybe some of these first commits by next date. Well, signing signing period is, starts next week, so um, I don't know if I'll have uh, any coaches in place yet, but uh, I think this year we're going to try to get one coach in place. Now, which coach is it? Is it the uh, first or second position? Is it an associate head coach? Um, and then the other two, um, the, uh, the other coach and then the director of ops position, we'll look at bringing them in, in the summer, probably around July 1st. Is it something that you've been chomping at the bit to do ever since leaving Stanford to get back? No question. Yeah. No question. You know, it's um, you know, to be in charge of your own program is, is uh, special. You know, I'm gonna take a lot of pride in it, but it's something that I, I've looked forward to ever since leaving Stanford. How about Carly Hoover? How long did you coach her? You know, I coached. Uh, Carly for one year, right. and uh, you know it was it was a great experience. She unfortunately got injured her freshman year, um, and uh, but in the recruiting process got to you know really know Jolene and Dave, and got really close to the family. And you know Carly's uh, a, a special special kid, and uh, you know we still talk every once in a while. She uh, she was on the elite team for the for the USA uh, program. Uh, two summers ago, so I, I actually got to work with her a little bit um, in, the, in that setting. You spent a lot of time out west, but how much do you know about the competitiveness of softball, not in the ACC, but the control throughout the southeast? Yeah, so, I mean, obviously the ACC is, is uh, one of the top conferences in the country when you look at softball. I mean, Florida State was at the World Series last year. They're, they're a, you know, uh, a tough program every year. North Carolina, um, you know, there, there's a lot of up-and-coming programs in this conference. And I think you know part of that is you know softball is growing rapidly and, and the talent pool is really everywhere now. It's just not in certain pockets of the country. Um, but for me, you know, I've, I've recruited nationally for a lot of years, and uh, so I have a lot of connections and uh, network that, that I'm going to utilize to help build this program. The the drawings that we see over there. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on what that? Is? complex is going to look like compared and especially compared to some of these other mm -hmm. places you've been yeah well I think when you look at facilities you look at what your needs are you know my biggest thing with the facility from a coach's standpoint is in the player development area you know bullpens batting cages you know things that are going to make our team better but I I know that that Dan and Joe have put a lot of thought into this and it's going to be a top-notch facility it's something that, that we're going to be awfully proud of and, and we're going to be able to recruit kids to this facility have you had a chance? People will automatically think baseball, softball go hand in hand. You beside each other. Have you had a chance to talk to Monty Lee yet? I have. He's been really helpful. In fact, we had a good conversation this morning. You know, I'm going to have a void for the next, you know, six months. You know, from 2:30 to six every day. So uh, I told him I'll be out watching, and uh, he he was very welcoming, so and encouraging. So I look forward to, to building on that relationship. And, and Monty has reached out into the the JUCO ranks and the transfer ranks to pick up kids, even going as far as the West Coast. Can he be a sounding board for you? And, and hey, this is how it works at Clemson, and, and how you, oh, know, no, you can get this in. No question. You know, I think as, as a coach, I need to learn all the traditions. You know, the paw's got to be turned at one o'clock. You know, all of these things. So, um, all the coaches, I'm going to try to lean on and get as much information as I can to help me in the recruiting process. Now that you're here, one thing you want to do, want to see, is it a football game, basketball game? Well, I'm, I, I'd like to just embrace myself in the, in the entire culture of Clemson. You know, obviously with football being so successful, um, you know, I got to talk to Milt Louder last week, and, and uh, 
you know, I, I'm hopefully going to be at the Florida State game with a couple of recruits and, uh, you know, get to experience that. But, uh, you know, my wife and I have been driving around. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. And um, just can't wait to get here and get going.